Hello friends, you're watching episode number 6 of our Let's Play Production Line series. My name is Sean and I'm glad you're here watching me play some video games this morning. Production Line is an early alpha game, as a matter of fact, it's the earliest of alphas. This game just received an upgrade today, it is up to alpha 1.07, I guess that's not the earliest of alphas, 1.00 would be the earliest of alphas. But, we did see an upgrade today, and so we've got uh, we've got some excitement going as we see all these cars hopefully start moving out of our factory and selling a little more quickly than they were selling before. Looks like they are. We're down to only five in our stockpile. We had like 20-something uh, in there uh, when we last uh, left off, and uh, I didn't let the game run very long. I basically started, started things moving and then started recording my video, and it sold tw through 20 cars very quickly. Um, uh, let's see, what were we doing uh, when we left off? I think we were going to go through and start applying a bunch of upgrades to our cars. Um, but, you know, one thing, uh, 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 1.07 uh, is supposed to have fixed the uh, car uh, sales uh, problem. Um, and it also uh, uh, optimized large factories. Um, it's supposed to help with the car rendering when zoomed out. I'm not quite sure what that means exactly, but... Uh, uh, I think things look pretty good from uh, this zoom level. Um, and uh, let's see what else. Um, I don't know. Looks like things are moving pretty smoothly. Oh, it changed the number of valves that go in for the for the fit for the fit uh, fit valves. So now they only take four valves instead of eight. Um, and I guess that's supposed to uh, that should make things a little faster. I think our setup was going pretty good already, where we had. Um, where we had, uh, you know, just the dedicated uh, import station for for the fit valves, um, but uh, that's okay. You know, we uh, although it doesn't look like it's absolutely dedicated, it looks like we've branched that off to have starter motors and some of these other things in there too. Uh, but it seems to be holding up very well. Um, so now what we've got going on is the uh, upgrades. So we can start applying some of these upgrades. Uh, I don't um, I don't remember where we left off um, with the uh, or not so much where we left off but uh, what all we needed to do with the upgrades so let's uh, let's go through take a look oh and see look at that we're already up to 30 cars again I don't like that very much we can't really reduce the price any better we're down to twenty six dollars for the uh, for the sale of those things that's not good that was one of the things that alpha 1.07 was supposed to fix was the problem with the uh, with the uh, cars not selling shoot uh, fortunately we have lots of money so we can uh, you know we can go a little while without selling any cars um, but you know, it's not good. The whole whole point is to be able to sell cars, but that's you know that's what happens when you're playing an uh, uh, alpha game, especially an early alpha like this. You should expect there to be problems and errors, and um, uh, you know that's uh, that's what we've run into is uh, definitely some problems and errors. Um, but uh, let's not worry so much about that. Let's continue focusing on improvements here, and as a matter of fact, let's start making a little list on uh, the stations where we need to do uh, upgrades, right? So we're going to um, do an upgrade in the aircon station. We can do some upgrades in the seats. That's seats. That's going to be in the fit roof. Um, we have uh, windows. Uh, this one goes into electronics. Electronics. And uh, windscreen. Here we're going to have headlights. Uh, like, how did I get that one down? Uh, that's a seat one we've already got in there. Steering, uh, steering wheel. I think the power tailgate is going to be for the trunk. Yep, fit trunk. Um, is that it? That's the roof already. Okay, great. So we can we can go through and start applying some of these upgrades here while we're uh, while we're playing. Let's start at the beginning. Now, if I miss any of these, I'm sure you guys will notice. Uh, so just yell at your screen 
because that maybe that'll make you feel better. It's not gonna not gonna do any good though, because I can't hear you. Um, fit hood. That's not it. Fit trunk. Fit trunk is one of them, isn't it? There we go. Fit trunk. Choose. We're gonna do power tailgate. Boom. Um, 4.16 seconds is still reasonable. Uh, bumper. No. No. Trim. No, thank you. Arches. I don't think so. Vent. No. Roof. Roof is one of them. Um, we're gonna go sunroof and. Panoramic sunroof, and I think we need to do a uh, extra robot on that one. Here we're going to do the same thing. Sunroof, panoramic sunroof, extra robots three. Cool. Uh, mark that off our list. There we go. Next up, door panels. Nothing for door panels. Windows. Windows is one of them. Uh, we're going to have electric windows. Oh, and I definitely need to speed that one up. 4.37. So now it looks like 4.37 is going to be our slow po slow point. I don't think wing mirrors is one of them, though. Uh, nothing with the paint. Boy, that paint section is huge. So many stations in our paint section. But, uh, you know, that's kind of expected. All right, let's jump ahead here. Flywheel is not going to be one of them. Uh, oh, we keep upgrading new stuff. What did we, uh, we just opened up safety features, right? Um, I think we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to wait to upgrade any of those safety features, so I'm not even gonna bother making them as part of our list. Uh, starter motor, no. Valves, no. Radiator, I don't think so. Exhaust, no. Fit wheels? Wheels? Looks like that's not included in our, uh, thing yet. Tires? I know there's some stuff with the tires, but those must be safety features. And same with brakes. Steering column, no, but steering wheel, yes. Steering wheel. Close, close. There you go. Steering wheel. Um, there you go. 8.65, so that's going to be 4.32. So I think that's about where we were anyways, 4.3 seconds. Um, so that's a steering wheel, and I know on lights we have one as well. We're going to choose, and we're going to do automatic headlights. And uh, was that it? Yeah, just robots there. Cool. Weird that it would let me close that, but not the other one. That's a horn, not a light. There we go. Choose automatic headlights. 33 cars. So we are actually starting to, weird, we're starting to sell back through them again really strange. Um, uh, fit seats. Fit seats has a whole bunch, a whole bunch of improvements here. Uh, heated seat, leather interior, powered seat, heater. And that's going to be 4.2, which is okay. So seat, same thing here. Heated seat, leather interior, powered seats, Heater. Very good. Um, and then we're going to go to fit aircon. Now I'm going to save this because, spoiler alert, I've uh, actually, uh, this is the second time to go through here because we ran into a little crash earlier. Um, so I uh, ran into a crash here on the fit aircon. So we're going to do climb. Oh, see, there we go. Right, well, uh, we are back. Um, Am I going to be able to? Uh, am I going to be able to do that? Or should I even try? Should I just skip my air conditioning? Uh, skip the air conditioning stuff. Let's skip over to electronics. Um, sat nav. Still 3.67 seconds, so that's nice and fast. Um, did I miss the windshield somehow? Um, I don't even remember what what letter did we leave off on. Uh, we're going to go with, um, I think it was the Falcon, right? So we're going to have the Vanilla Giraffe. And uh, it's going to be Model 1 because I know that there's going to be a bunch of uh, these. So we'll do that. And um, I must have missed the windscreen somewhere in here. Oh, all right. See, already. And we're gonna have a pretty modest, uh, uh, 
money on that. Now that's so we are starting to sell those cars again. It's really weird. I wonder why everybody is can't make up their mind on whether they're going to buy our cars or not. Um, so I must have I must have done the windscreen adjustment. Nope, I skipped it somehow. All right. Four percent. Sure. Let's try it. Oh, and I got to do two of those. Automatic wipers. Uh, oh boy. And, um, so I did seats. I did windows. Windscreen, right? Did we do windows? Windows are way back there. We Surely we did the windows. Alright, but did I... Oh. Six. There we go. Save new design. Now let's see if I did the windows, because if I didn't, then... Okay, I did. Great. And uh, 4.3... You know what? Let's throw some robots on there, because I want to get that below the uh, mark there. there we go. Keep working down that chain. Um, although I could start doing the the uh, parts manufacturing, I think that that has also been uh, kind of kind of uh, upgraded um, and rebalanced. So hopefully it's that's a more viable uh, a more viable uh, uh, um, something to do. You know, um, let's uh... <sighs> see that. Well, that's great. So our cars. Wow, we sold through all those old cars again, huh? Weird. Now, I kind of want to try to get that air conditioning stuff in there, but uh, I really uh, I don't want to have the game crash again. I guess we can wait. Let's let's let the game do an auto save, and then we'll uh, then we'll see what happens. Well, I'm glad to see the cars are starting to sort of move. Um, can I can I bump the price up a little bit? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I probably should. Can I upgrade our power plants? I probably should do that if that's available. Nope, we've already got that going on there. So I kind of need to build more power plants. Um, where would I throw those in there? I'll oh, see. Now we're stocking up on uh, cars again. Really weird. The uh, oops, too fast on that research. So let's look at uh, starting to manufacture some stuff. We have plenty of room for manufacturing our our uh, axles. So let's try that. Start with that one, and uh, let's try getting out of here. There we go. And we were going to lay down some additional power plants, weren't we? So we'll rotate that. We'll throw that one there. And we'll throw another one right there. Very good. And we'll do efficiency and efficiency. Great. Escape. So looks like that's still, well, eight, I think, is where we left off. I can't even remember now. Had so many of them. Save new design. There's an auto save. Oh, okay, great. So we were going to try to uh, see if we could upgrade our uh, air conditioning again. Um, so let's do climate control. Okay, that one time it worked. Pollen filter. And uh, we're at a good speed there. Good. So here, whoops, I don't want to do that. Do climate control. And it stops working again. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess we will go without air conditioning. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, air conditioning upgrades, uh, which is fine. Um, I live in Oregon. I don't need air conditioning, right? Just a couple of weeks a year, maybe in August. I don't. I don't know about the rest of my customers. Is this an Oregon-only car that we're selling? Uh, all right. Another new one. Vanilla uh, Giraffe Nine. Look at that beautiful, uh, uh, luxurious moonroof, or panoramic sunroof, or whatever the heck they're calling it. Uh, save new design. I guess I need to uh, go back and retract my uh, retract my uh, 
complaint that the cars weren't selling. Uh, they definitely are selling again. Hmm. Oh my gosh, come on now. Vanilla Giraffe 10. Should be about done. I, those must be some of the first cars that we applied the upgrades to. The problem is, oh, no, see, look at that. We've got that one. Doesn't have a sunroof. Did I, did I miss, uh... miss a, a, a manufacturing slot when I did these upgrades. Looks like all the cars coming down the line at this point all have moon roofs, or panoramic sunroofs or whatever they're called. Let's slow the speed down here. Did I ever rent out? I did rent out this area here. So I can start making, um, I guess, the axle uh, production. So how does that look? We got chassis assembly, fit axles, and make axle. So make axle, not quite sure how this works, but we'll put that there. And uh, do I have an import slot down here? I do. So we're going to do resource importer right there. Whoops. This looks like an older uh, version. Uh, we'll call this uh, 8.1. Uh, I don't even know. I don't think we're going to have too many of those going through. There we go. And let's um, fit the resource conveyor like that up there and up. I'll erase that one because I don't need that there. Resource conveyor. Go back to going up and then you're going to go over like that. Now I don't know whether, I don't know which one is incoming and which one is outgoing. There you go. That looks like looks like I've got that set up correctly. Nope, got it set up incorrectly. Cancel, 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 cancel. There we go. Let's go the other way around, like that, and then over like that. Beautiful. And then you're gonna go out like that. Okay, much better. I think. Now, I want to see how the manufacturing side of this works. It looks like they're slowly manufacturing them. Look at that. Cool. Pretty neat. And I guess I could probably connect that up to... Oh, it really is connected up to there automatically, isn't it? So I didn't really need to do that, but I've done it anyway. Stop importing those things, would you? awfully slow at making axles. So we are going through, um, what do you use, one axle every five seconds? And you use one every four and a half seconds? So that's two every nine and a half seconds. So we need, or no, that's two every five, yeah, two every five seconds. So we need one every two and a half seconds. Uh, so, if this takes 11.35 seconds, that would be five. I need five of these stations to keep up with our axle demand. I guess I can manage that. So, we're going with chassis assembly, fit axles, uh, make axle, and we're going to... Um, hmm. How am I going to connect those up, though? That's going to be really weird. I guess I can connect them up like this. That's not quite so weird. Uh, is that right though? Let's see, there's the input area, so I would connect them up like this. One. Two. Three. Oh, too soon. Sure, why not truck manufacturer? Go for it. One, two, three, four. This will be number five. Great. And then we're going to have resource conveyors going out like that. And then you're going to go over here like that. Great. Okay. So real up and down on these car sales. Number 10, maybe I've got the price too high. 
Let's lower that price down. See if those sell a little faster. Doesn't seem to be a lot of demand for these axles. And uh, for some reason it's importing axles. Yeah, I don't like that. Why are you importing them when we have axles sitting down here? Oh, not what I wanted to do. Um, like, I guess it's because it goes to the nearest one. Um, let's see, we were on chassis assembly. Fit axles. Make axle. There we are. So how do I get this to where... I mean, what I could do is... Ah, shit. That's alright. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, so, I don't want you guys connected up there. Great. What I do want is fit front axle right there. Ah, there's not going to be any way that I can have this... I shouldn't say that because I can find a way that I think will work. Alright, so we're going to have the resource conveyor go up there. Can I go over that? Okay, good, I can. Uh, so I want to go up one more. We're going to go over and then go over and then connect over here. Whoops. Let's go back to resource conveyor there. And then this one will connect up like that and like that. And I think, oh, but that's not the stockpile. That's the stockpile. There we go. So that should be good for getting. Oh, come on. Should be good for getting the axles into there. And there we go. Okay, cool. So now we should be using only manufactured axles, I hope. Looks like it's slowly drawing them in from uh, that area. And uh, boy, I do mean slowly, huh? Now, would it help if I put a supply stockpile up here? Can I fit one in right there? I can. Let's try it. And we will just fill you up with axles. Is it going to draw those in from uh, down there? It looks like it is. Cool. But oh my gosh, look at all these cars that we've got stockpiled here. Make a trunk. Hood manufacturer. Close you down. Uh, can I sell these at Four percent. All right, I'm going to drop the price of these down to zero because I just want to clear my, clear my, uh, clear my stockpile. You know what? I'll even take a modest loss at that. I'm really curious why those cars were selling but suddenly aren't selling. Okay, so we've worked through all of those, but here. They're just not, I mean, they are selling, I guess, if you want to call it that. How about, let's let's clear out our stockpile if we can. Those cars are on sale. Everything must go. Yeah, we're going to run a little bit over on this, uh, on this episode, but it's been kind of a funky episode. So um, there we go. We are slowly clearing out our stockpile here, making $50 per car. But even there, gosh, we are not able to consistently sell our cars out. Um, and uh, also, we're going to run into the point where uh, we're not able to uh, uh, not able to keep up, or uh, we should start making more money, right? Because we're bringing in our own things. But look at that—we are accumulating more cars, even at that extraordinarily low price. So. All right, I think we're going to pause it for now. Um, I will leave some feedback for Cliff over on the uh, over on the production line forums, 
And, uh, hey, thanks for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having fun. Uh, please don't uh, let the minor uh, glitches uh, that we've seen in this episode uh, dissuade you. This game is really fun. And uh, Cliff has been amazing about supporting it and um, uh, coming out with new patches frequently. He's been putting a ton of work into this thing. And uh, uh, I, I definitely recommend this game. It is a fun game to own and play. And uh, I'm glad that I have it. And I, I, I really am excited to, about the future of this game. Like, there's going to be so much. He's got so many plans on uh, what uh, what's going to be happening. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that part of it. Yeah, sure, we've got a little bump in the road right now, a little hiccup that we got to work our way through. Uh, but uh, I'm confident that in the long run, this game is going to be really amazing. So stick with it. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think down in the comment area. I always like to hear from you guys. Uh, and I'm glad you're here. I'll see you next time. Bye.